everybody. Meet uh, meet Razio Rodriguez, also known as Zazu in the trade. Nice to meet you guys. All right. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Okay, Zazu, tell us a little bit about what you're going to show us. Well, um, I'm a traveler and I deal in fine gemstones and uh, I've been traveling around for about 11 months selling these gemstones to survive and I met Bill and Bill's a pretty stand-up guy so I thought I'd share some of the stuff that I okay. own with him. Okay, Whoa, let's see what we got here. My, my name's William Friedman, this is the Cross Country Local, uh, an expedition to go from the Atlantic to the Pacific using only uh, local and regional tr transit including the uh, the Silver State main line between, holy moly, Lit Vegas and Reno, and that's where we are now is at the Imperial uh, Lounge in Reno. So what are we looking at, uh, Razio? Uh, we're looking at a couple of things. We're looking at some uh, Grateful Dead uh, family silver uh, that has been uh, created by a company called Flight Inspired. Okay, can you hold it up closer to, to the phone? Here? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Uh, I actually found this chain on a mountainside while I was mining for minerals and restored it. So that's wow. pretty awesome. Uh, it also is a belt buckle, which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I uh, retrofitted it to wear his necklace because I thought it was way too cool. All right, and, that's uh, old school rapper stuff mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And we also have uh, here some fabrication. Here's a fabrication piece that I collaborated with. Uh, with a buddy of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got um, some amylite, which is a sea fossil, uh, some green garnet, Ethiopian opals. Green garnet, mm -hmm. Ethiopian opals. Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, some red garnets, red and garnets. we've got a, it's on a Grateful Dead family silver uh, what chain. Makes, okay, what, what makes it a Grateful Dead family well, it's, silver? Well, it's made by the, by the jewelers who produce uh, Grateful Dead jewelry and they theme it with uh, certain colors and uh, make it with a uh, certain quality which is a, a high quality piece. This design is my original design uh, collaborated with an uh, another artist named Skylar Thus who's a very very talented fabricator and has taught me quite a bit right. and uh, um, so this is basically a breakout piece for me to show the world uh, some of the things I'm capable of. Yeah, Ed, Ed says uh, nice piece and uh, Hey guys, let's have some, some hearts for uh, for Zazu uh, gems and jewels here. Oh, thank you All very right, much. Sure. We also have a couple more uh, small miniature items for ladies. Right. These are uh, more natural stones. This is a fire opal from Mexico, oh. and it's all it's all wrapped in sterling. You can see uh, the very small details that I've handcrafted and this is what I make on my journeys in order to survive but mm -hmm. I usually don't don't really have that much money and any money that I make in the cities that I travel I, I make by make by either trading and bartering this or uh, selling it to tourists or good friends but, All right. but it's a blessing for me that that most of my income comes from good friends All right. how much for opal Ed wants to know uh, Ed wants to know uh, Opals are, are. Oh, this is Megan, our uh, <laughs> our, our cocktail waitress. Hi. Say hello. Nice to meet you. We're on Periscope. Are you familiar with Periscope? Yeah. 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 Okay. Follow me. Uh, my name's William Friedman, and uh, okay. my handle on Periscope is Cross Country Local. That's awesome. And, yeah, and uh, so uh, Razio's uh, showing uh, the world his tools. But maybe you could model something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what Ooh, would look what, what, what would look good on Megan oh, yeah, here? Absolutely. Anything. Yeah, let's throw that one on. That's, that's a fabrication piece that I made. Oh, it's pretty. And uh, it, it is very, very. Ooh, time -consuming. You wear it so yeah, well. I love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hearts, people, please. Some hearts for Megan I love that. and Noble. That's so yeah. pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. You're so talented. Thank oh my you. gosh. Let me make sure I take this off. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. It's that's beautiful. It's yeah, honor, that's so. so cool. Well, are you guys doing okay? Yeah, otherwise? we're doing, we're doing really great. great. Okay. Yeah. It's really been an yeah. honor, so yeah. I'm really, really glad to have you as a waitress. Thank you. You're yeah. getting lots of hearts. Aw, good. I'm glad. Did you guys need uh, any more food or drinks? Oh, uh, no. I'm all set on the food and the drinks. Okay. Uh, okay. You should follow my jewelry. I will. Heck yeah. I'll be back. Do you guys want your bill? You guys yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just give us the, the bill, Megan. Uh, Thanks. Okay, All right. Thank you. Okay. And so, hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. Back to business here. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so we've got um, lots of uh, different different stones from all over the world that I collect in order to uh, just kind of create some diversity. Uh, you were asking how much the opal piece is. The opal piece yeah. is uh, 150. Um, if someone were to buy it today, um, traveling, and I could use some extra cash, maybe about 100 bucks would probably let it go today. All right, um, so, but, uh, okay, let, let's assume that, uh, that my entire uh, Periscope followership is a, is a, a bunch of, uh, well, frankly, lame-ass stoners who, uh, who just don't plan in ahead very well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, they're, they're taking a look at this scope and saying, uh, oh shit, I gotta get my lady something for the holidays. Uh -huh. And uh, how, how do they get some, some Zazu gear here? Well, um, what's really interesting is that I ship all over the United States. Yeah, but they so, gotta know where, where to find your, your stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, the best, the best way to find my stuff yeah. is um, on Facebook. <laughs> uh, I have a company called Zazu Creations, but I, um, it's easier to directly get in contact with me uh, as Razio Rodriguez, R-A-Z-I-O Rodriguez with a Z. And uh, if you personal message me, we can talk prices and talk about even designing custom pieces in time for the holidays. Great, so. and I'm, I will post that to the uh, to the Facebook community page for Cross Country Local. Absolutely. And uh, you're getting a hug from Brazil. Oh, that's really nice. Uh. Thank you very much, Brazil. And uh, here I have one of my personal pieces that I made for myself, and this piece is... Uh, it's a really interesting piece. I, I got the stones while I was on a journey traveling. Okay, first of all, the, 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 why don't you show us the uh, the Rastafari ring? Oh real yes, quick. Tell, yes. Tell, oh, Texas is also saying hi. Okay, so that is. Let's see if I got this right. I was. I wanted to demonstrate to Razio that I was paying attention before. That is a Rastafarian ring. That is a star of David, the symbol of Judaism, um, and uh, in in the middle there. Is uh, the the Lion of Judah um, representing Haile Selassie, uh, yes, the, exactly. uh, uh, the the late king of Ethiopia, and uh, the the lion is carrying a cross. Yes. So that's Rastafari. It's Judaism. It's Christianity. Yeah. It's its own thing. Yes. All right. So you're going to show us another piece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. So I have another piece that is. Was, made. Th was that the piece we're yeah, going to show? Yeah. Us? yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have um, here. Uh, this is all sterling. We've got ta tanzanite from Tanzania, mm -hmm. um, and uh, an, an opal from Spencer, Idaho, which is uh, a very rare locality. Um, it it has some of the most amazing flash and color that I've seen in opal to this day. Mm -hmm. um, I also have in here a quartz from Pakistan that has oil trapped in from the oil fields. So when you walk into the black light, you will see the stone glow. Whoa. Yeah. So this is the one you wear clubbing? Yeah, oh, I wear it all the time, all man, right. especially if, if you're going out. And yeah. It's a very big head turner. And um, I also have in here an Oregon sunstone with a copper inclusion. Uh, this piece is probably about a $1,200 piece. It's, um, it's one of my pieces that has been with me for quite some time now and is a staple of the kind of craftsmanship that I'm capable of. All right, you're going to wear that between here and the bus station. All Absolutely. Right. Look, All that's right. the back. <laughs> that's the back. That's the part nobody even gets to see. It looks like a freaking Borg ship. Yeah. What is that, man? Yeah, well, that is uh, literally every single twist and turn is my mind uh, trying to try its hardest to find the stones and doing it in an artful way. All audio, it's says currently. Uh, send me hearts... Just just tap a couple of hearts if you can hear this. If you can hear this, just tap a couple of hearts. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Bone of Yvonne. I think it's just you. All right. Okay. Okay, go and ahead. And so we also have here another mm. ring created by the same artist who made the Ethiopian ring. Uh, he actually shares the same name with the architect of the pyramids, Imhotep. And uh, this this ring is amazing. It's got over almost an ounce of silver in it. It's it's a personal ring of mine. I use it during uh, sacred ceremonies to cleanse my crystals. And uh, the Eye of Ra has been following me. It's ironic because my name is Razio, mm -hmm. and um, it's just it's one of the rings that really turns heads. It's even got uh, ancient Egyptian inscriptions that were laid in there by the artist. Oh, We've got yeah. the bird of Ra and. Uh, a symbol that kind of looks like a hashtag symbol. I believe it's uh, it might be uh, reeds, and we even even got a crown in there for, for sim uh, symbology of royalty. Right. I think so. it says 
if I can read that inscription because I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with Middle Eastern languages. Um, does, okay. If not on sucks Kushite cock. Okay. All right. That's uh, all right. I, I, I might have lost something in the translation, but okay. Go on. Okay. What so else we got? We also have here um, a, a fire opal, uh, which is wrapped in sterling. Also, uh, this is a Mexican fire opal. I kept it raw because it is a uh, beautiful as a natural stone, just like how it is. Um, some stones uh, just show their beauty naturally. You don't really need to do much in order in order to really see the kind of beauty that comes naturally from the earth. So I've got that piece. That piece did sell already for 250. Um, I also have this. This piece is probably one of my prized pieces. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shine a flashlight on this, so you can go ahead and uh, see just a little bit of. Um, the potential of this stone and it took me about three years to get this mm -hmm. stone to be as beautiful as, as it actually it is displayed um, this is mm -hmm. all hand sanding carving um, this one has some 14 karat gold in it wow. it also has some silver uh, this is all sterling and you can see in the back what it looked like when I started. That's when I started. Uh, it was raw like that, and just hours and hours uh, of of work and three years of dedication in order to, to make this piece uh, right. what it is right now. Right. Hey, I hope everyone's inviting their friends to watch this. This is so cool. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, and and uh, we all need some gift ideas about this time of year, and uh, Razio can definitely hook you up. All right. Okay. Uh, someone wants to know how much for that piece. Uh, this that piece is about fifteen hundred. Uh, the the Ethiopian opal has been has been being cut for about, like I said, about three years. So it's 